My name's Emery LaCrown. I'm originally from Greensboro, North Carolina. Cool. Um, but I'm living in Manhattan right now and just freelancing and working. <laughs> <laughs> Coming here, I had so many ideas and a lot of stuff that I just felt like I hadn't had the chance to really get out of my system yet or, or see on a, a group of dancers. And so I think in the first week, it was almost like choreography throw up. <laughs> And it just a lot of material came out, a lot of movement for them. And now this week is just so much different because I'm really starting to figure out what I'm saying, I think. And it's and part of that is also coming from the dancers. It's like I gave them so much movement and so much everything that now that we're starting to really understand where it's coming from and breaking things down and kind of where the piece is going at a, as a whole, um, the ballet is like, a, a, a length has like this progression that's kind of coming together nicely. It's and it's changing my perspectives on like a lot of stuff that I um, originally, you know, thought I wanted to come in to do. Today we we worked slower and we like broke things down and I was more clear about this has this intention and this, you know, is this feeling and once we did that and they ran it again, it's. I'm starting to see the value of doing that because I think one of my weaknesses as a choreographer is like I just want them to know already how to do it. I just want to say, here's the movement, and oh, you're amazing. <laughs> like, it's perfect. But um, a lot of times you realize that they do need that extra time and they really need to um, get it in their bodies and understand why. Um, so I think that's always good. We were working on that today and doing that. And it, it's funny too because. I mean, I finished about 15 minutes almost by last week. And so here I was on our day off on Monday thinking, I have two more weeks. What am I going to do? <laughs> and I got to this, you get to a point where you have to get over, I think, making ugly stuff. And I really just, I got to that point talking to some of my friends and I was just like, you know, I, I don't have any like ideas left. Like, what am I gonna do? You know, I don't know. I'm just walking in this room with like eight people willing to work with me and you get to that moment of kind of, uh, but I think once you get to that point and um, get over it, there's a artistic freedom and release and realizing that you're not really in control. And as much as like you stand in the front and you think like I'm the choreographer and I'm in control, it has so much to do with the chemistry that you have with your dancers and that they have for that certain day. I mean, for instance, yesterday we came in and without me planning anything or having an, a general idea, more stuff came out. And that was probably the best day I've had um, since being here because it's, it's really learning, teaching myself as a choreographer to get to the point of not having to plan so much and not having to, um, you know, come in pre-prepared. It's like, how do you walk into a room of dancers with absolutely no idea what you're gonna do and make something? And that's kind of what happened yesterday. So now hopefully I can find a spot for that material <laughs> without doing a 45 minute ballet. <laughs> but um, I mean, and then the stuff that, that comes out isn't always pretty, it's not always perfect. It, Sometimes it's ugly, but it gives you the best idea. And I think that's um, really what it's about, is not being afraid to give them ugly, awkward things to do. <laughs> it's more like, like I, sometimes I think of it as like being a, an artist, like drawing. It's like if you just give them material, at least you have something to work with. You can always erase a line here and make a new one or draw a different shape but if you don't have anything on the paper you've got nowhere to go so that's kind of nice figuring that out